My name is Billy, Advocacy Officer and Managing Trustee at Masumi G Research. My name is Anne, Project Manager and Managing Trustee as well at the Masumi G Research. We're the Dumaliang Sisters, champions for She Connects. We're here to share with you three ways to integrate conservation into your daily life. <laughs> When you're really connected to your purpose and you know what's at stake, you really have to be brave. We grew up with Masumi. My sister and I had been visiting the area ever since we were children. We grew up playing in the streams. We saw how it transformed into a lush forest. But the threat of destruction from deforestation and quarrying was always there. When I left my day job in 2015, it was because I told myself that I didn't want Masumi to meet the same fate as all the other mountains in the area. I remember looking out during a visit and you could see all of the mountains and forests literally disappearing. I kept thinking, is Masumi going to be next? After protecting the land, we started restoring the forest and now we're trying to give Masumi a fighting chance. We now call the whole area the Masumi G Reserve. We opened up trails to the public to give people opportunities to get to know the place like we did. And to do it in a way, of course, that doesn't harm the land or degrade the environment. At Masumi, we believe in fostering respect for the land and love for nature. Now we've taken on the bigger challenge to rewild over 2,700 hectares of land around Masumi. At first, I thought hindi to gagana, masyadong malayo, masyadong mahirap. But right after our openings, our trail visits actually had a six-month waiting list. I guess people were hungry for authentic experiences with nature. And this made me realize that actually, we don't have to be in this fight alone. We can actually save the environment if we do it together. The first way to practice conservation is to cultivate a love of nature. I know that it sounds simple, but I'm really serious. Please consider traveling outdoors and to nature. A lot of our friends who are actually environmentalists began this way because that's when you realize how everything is connected. You begin to notice how the trees are kept alive by the rivers and the water. You'll see how limestones can give life to a unique array of plants and animals and how the living and non-living elements of nature work together to keep the planet in balance. The Philippines is among the 17 megadiverse countries of the world, and megadiverse countries are home to two-thirds of the world's biodiversity and 70% of the world's flora and fauna. And the sad thing is, we're so far behind when it comes to protecting it. The second thing would be to encourage the women of your communities to care about conservation. I know that caring for the environment isn't specific to any gender, but in Masuni, I often find myself connecting with the mothers in our community. Sila tatay, they're usually at work, and the kids, they're often at school when we work during the daytime. So our nanas, they're usually the ones who are free to talk to me, and they're the ones who are most excited about our projects. I think it's because they take care of the household. It's easier for mothers to understand the intangible, but really important things. For example, clean air, the importance of education, the well-being of the community, and how all of these things ultimately affect the people that they love the most. That's an important mindset when we're talking about sustainability. Traditionally, people may have seen conservation and sustainability as men's work. I don't think that's the case anymore. There are so many women who are leading the charge when it comes to protecting the environment. In fact, almost half of our park rangers are women and they are some of the bravest that I know. They're out in the mountains, no electricity for 24 hours at a time. We're always scared for them day in and day out, but we're really lucky to have such a good team. The third and final thing is to mainstream conservation. With everyone, anyone, normalize it. You can already see it happening. 
Everything you need to know about the climate crisis, you can find on the internet. And it's really the youth who are taking the initiative when it comes to the conversation on the climate crisis. They use their respective platforms like Facebook or Instagram to engage and inform. I think this is because the climate crisis is most urgent to those who are most vulnerable to it, including Filipinos. We can't ignore it anymore. The data is there and we're experiencing its effects regularly. The least we can do is to make it a part of our daily conversations. That's actually also how Basuni's visit started. We never made a big effort to get the word out there, but we always had a wait list. And it was because of all that word of mouth and social media. Because somebody posted about it and talked about it with a friend. So never underestimate the power of talk. Ask yourself, what is happening to the environment and how can I help protect it? And just having that mindset can guide so many of our day-to-day -day decisions. The one good thing about working with my sister is practicado na kami. We know we have bigger fights to worry about. We've been in the same room since we were kids. So she knows what I'm thinking and I know what she's thinking, especially when there's something important that needs to be done. We do it for our family, our real family, and the family at Masumi. Our hope through the She Connects campaign is to connect others to caring for the environment. As difficult and dangerous as this is, there are so many places in the country in dire need of protection. The more we shed light on issues of the environment, whether it's raising awareness online, sharing crucial information about current events, we're not only helping Ms. Me, but everyone else who are undergoing the same challenges. This is why conservation is everyone's business. I'm Billy Dumalia. I'm Anne Dumalia. Champions for PLDT Home.